Uh, uh, choose the one called We Got Hostiles. <laughs> oh, okay. As in all of them. Choose all of them. Uh, that one? Yeah, control A. Okay. Oh, yep, that's, our, that's the one. All right. Welcome back to Half-Life Part 2. I almost said Half-Life 2. Uh, maybe sometime. <laughs> at, at some point, yeah. Uh, I don't think we should ever do that one if we ever hope to have a career in Let's Playing. <laughs> let me rephrase that. If I want to have a... If I want to have a career in Let's Playing. Why? What's wrong with Half-Life 2? <laughs> uh, uh you, nothing. Let's, uh, quick save. Okay. And let's forget that Brandon ever asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> and you're dying. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, you cheater. Son of a bitch. So we came out and finally got to the surface, and then we went right back underground. Well, yes, because they're bombing us. Well, not, you know, not us specifically, but the aliens, yes. Uh, no, Zach, that is the specific grading that you can't cut through, unlike the ones you can. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why this game has like different like gates like that. <laughs> yeah, it's not always consistent in a way that I think makes sense. You know, in the same way of like how in Zelda, um, walls that you can bomb are clearly marked by little cracks. <laughs> you better yep I was gonna say <laughs> engine his way into the keep him safe like imagine like that's the thing with a lot of these things that Gordon Freeman does in this game like imagine actually trying to do that in real life like you wouldn't like your balance oh would God. not be able to keep you on that wall yeah. especially if you're crouched down like that <laughs> well Gordon Freeman you see is a master of physics if physics obey him that's not until Half-Life 2 <laughs> Yeah, remember, there's no physics in this. Uh, you want to call today? My ass is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine's too. Look, if my ass was heavy, I wouldn't want to be stuck in firefights either. Also, can we pat ourselves on the back? We didn't make a single Freeman's Mind reference in the first part. Oh, we brought it up. I mean, we talked about... Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we brought it up, but we didn't... Can I shoot them through this? You can. There, see? Problem solved. Ah, oh, two more dead people to add to my collection. <laughs> yeah, this place I always tend to get lost in. Yeah, I, I remember this being a little awkward too. I feel like I would freak out if I had to crawl in vents this much. Oh, yeah. I'm very claustrophobic. I'd Same. be afraid of getting stuck. Yep. I'd rather be shot to death than be stuck in a vent and die slowly. <laughs> yeah, well, especially here, where they look really thin. Like, just enough to squeeze Gordon's body through. Got a freezer. Oh. Dead men in the freezer. I wonder if he suffocated in here. I mean, they clearly didn't leave him anything to eat. Like, what is that freezer even for? Uh, freezing? No. Well, yes, but they're not using it. 
for the dead bodies, of course. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, the guy was like, "Well, if I'm gonna die, at least I'm well preserved." <laughs> <laughs> you have a special place for that. Like he's an organ donor. He wants to keep him fresh. Hmm. Wait, it, it's gonna say, "Have you?" No, okay, oh, okay this no, is this new, is new. Yeah. But I, yeah, this is another dead. Wait, is it another dead end? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Ugh. Optimal. I got my one shotgun show back. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this ain't no Resident Evil Seven. You got tons of ammo. Like imagine imagine actually carrying 125 shotgun shells. That would be the American dream. Well, I assume that the that the the suit Gordon's wearing probably has like infinite pockets or some shit. Okay. I mean, is the HEV suit meant for combat cuz it's really bulletproof and headcraft proof? Right. I mean, I guess you could say that the suit was made to deal with, like, harmful, like, radiation and other stuff, so they probably made it pretty strong I enough to deal with other killed. stuff, too. I guess. Yeah, to keep it out. Nope. Right, I think this is it, that you're supposed to go down a level, and that other area is just kind of optional. Like, extra, yeah. Would have been for ammo if I needed it, but right. didn't really need it. I did get to kill two, uh, two military men soon, though. Well, I think you're coming out on the area they were, so that may be an advantage then. Hmm. Oh, no more vents. Ah, remember this room? Ah. Well, so much for the government. Their idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. Just now you opened a shortcut. I say you were part of what went wrong. Isn't that right? Now look, if anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science team and the Lambda complex at the opposite end of the base. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. But there's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here, beyond the silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test lab, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever's left of the Lambda team. You can trust them. Oh, so I really like the mouth animations. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was actually looking at. Yeah, right, they're basically so mu they're, they're, they're basically Muppets. So did, did you hit the button, Zach? Did you hit the you know, big yeah, red button? That was so... <laughs> there you go. Yay. So yeah, that's where you need to go next. I wonder how long those little loading times were on, like, the original PCs this game was supposed to run on. Can you imagine, in the old days, not having a PC good enough to play this game? Yeah. <laughs> I would say, if you want to deal with old hard drives, those were fun. Like, with this game, I can't really see it well, but with, like, Half-Life 2, I could just because of how impressive that... Because I remember even at the time how impressive that game's engine looked. Because there, there are definitely no Muppets in that game. They had very, very expressive faces. I would say when the, at the time when I played uh, Half-Life 2, I have played a decent amount of, like, other games around that time or later on. So when I did get to play Half-Life 2... I saw him when I first saw it. I thought it was pretty, pretty great. Yeah. Really great sounding guns in this game. I'm trying to think if I would prefer Half-Life 2's gun sounds or Half-Life 1's. I'm not sure. I kind of want to say Half-Life 2, but... Yeah, gun. <gasps> Grenade! <laughs> I feel like a lot of the internet's consensus is that they think the, the, um, the weapons in general felt and sounded better in 1 over 2. Um, but I don't know, I don't know if I agree with that. 
Yeah, I'm not sure either. Honestly, Brandon, when you first talked about people preferring Half-Life 1 over 2, I was like, eh, I don't see it. But honestly, the more I play of it, the more I'm like, this one is better paced once you get past the intro. This one's a lot more guns and shooting yeah. so far, and it's a lot more fast-paced. I mean, both have slow openings to sort of establish the environment. But yeah, once Half-Life uh, 2 starts, I mean, Half-Life 1 starts, you immediately just get into it. Um, well, I think... Half-Life 2, it can, it can take a little bit longer to get your guns together. and Because there's large portions of Half-Life 2's opening where you're just running away from enemies without any weapons. I also just remember the Combine being less fun to fight than the Soldiers. They are much... The Combine's AI is, are, is much worse than the Soldiers. They just kind of run at you. Yeah. If I remember too, they kind of just stand around as well. Yep. You know, it's a good thing I played that tutorial. Otherwise, I'd probably be confused here. You know what? Actually, I will say though, for Half-Life Alex, though, the Combine do get a little bit smarter. And they actually are harder compared to Half-Life 2. That's good. Honestly, I probably don't even have to fire. Oh. Yeah, that's one of the things that makes me interested most to play Half-Life Alex when I have a chance is just kind of... Because it seems almost like, you oh. know, since they haven't made a Half-Life game in so long, that it's a game that's kind of trying to subtly retcon some stuff to make it better. <laughs> hmm. uh, I guess this would be my own hot take for the Half-Life series. Even though I did say that, I just think Half-Life 2 is just like... I wouldn't say like... I'd say probably like a little bit better than okay. Like, I had fun with it, but I don't know if I would played ever again unless it's with a, with a m mod or something like that but i will say when i played half-life alex i think i just preferred that game over half-life one and two because i think it had the better pacing kind of like half-life one but it also like i don't know i just thought like alex was a pretty cool character it was like kind of neat to hear like a character actually talk like the main character talking and stuff in in a half-life game yeah And I just feel like, you know, with how how well it's praised for its immersiveness, that could overall create a more engaging experience as a game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, Half-Life Alex is extremely immersive and amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of why I'm terrified to play it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, especially when you get to, like, the scarier parts of the game. <sighs> Yeah, because that's the thing, like, both Half-Life 1 and 2 have segments that really do, like, just feel like horror. Just, like, darkly lit areas with a lot of enemies, or, you know, of course, Ravenholm and Half-Life 2. Yeah. Oh, we don't go to Ravenholm. I always remember that. <laughs> well, good thing we came down here to kill that guy. <laughs> Look, he was taking a bath, and we have to shoot him. You know, at least when the guy in Bioshock 1 was killing things, it, it was because there was, you know, somebody constantly saying, would you kindly? But in this game, now Gordon's just killing everything. He gives no fucks. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the aliens are kind of trying to kill him, so... Well, that's true. That's true. And he's, like, trying to defend himself, so... Oh, I didn't actually think that would work. Oh, okay, he actually made it. Yeah. I'm getting used to have this place. <laughs> Zach, aren't you going to pick up those... Uh... Yeah, well, I, I mean, I'm at 96 and 87. It, it would just be a waste. 
Like, this would give me 4, and then this would give me 13 out of, like, 15 or 20. If I but are you coming back there editing. once you go here? What? But are you coming back to here? Ever? Fair enough. <laughs> but I see your point. Yep, shoot that. I mean, I'm tempted. <laughs> I, I know you are. <laughs> but but I... And I, I was encouraging it. Because I'm because I'm an yeah, asshole. But when, but when you encourage something, it's wrong. Remember, you jinxed me last time. I did, it's true. And all this lighting must have been oppressive because everything is so green. <laughs> yep. Okay. Got that good radiation lighting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot that. I didn't even know the notice that was there. That poor There's not even squid. pieces left. He just fucking evaporated. Zach. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, Zach, Zach did the thing that everybody that plays this game for the first time does do. They, they shoot the explosives on that bridge and take it out to make it harder to get across. There was a zombie there. I had to kill it. <laughs> sure, Zach. But it wasn't even near you. It had to die. It had to die. Will he do it? Will he do it? I'm surprised that didn't explode. <laughs> Man, he was really getting excited over being shot. <laughs> Just jumped around and all that. I was just about to say, you know, I'm surprised you don't have a pistol in this game. Here it is. I'm stupid. I should have been using this. Yeah, the the I, I was I was surprised that you were trying to make all of these shots from y yards away with a shotgun. Cuz yeah, the the pistol the pistol in this game is excellent for pinpoint uh shooting. Yeah. It kind of is like a weaker version of a sniper rifle, I guess, because, like, you don't really get anything later on in the game, except, of course, like, the crossbow and stuff and the... all that in Half-Life 2, but... the pistol kind of just becomes, like, your, like, far away shooty thing. Push him into the tongue. Oh. I was kind of hoping you walked into the tongue there to get some comeuppance for your bad thoughts. <laughs> Brandon, please. I'm never punished for anything terrible that I do. You should know this by now. Well, I don't know why you saved there, Zach. Oh, right. Hi. Zach, Z Zach, Zach! <laughs> yes, wa walk into the damage. <laughs> I wanted to see if, like, any effects came out of, like, hitting it. Use the arm bar! No, come on. Well, he's fucked. Anyway. Yeah, there's another pretty great script event coming up here. Did you see that bit of tip there, Zach? Yeah, be quiet. Yes. Because if it hears us, it'll come after us. 
Yep, yep. So Zach, just stop talking, and the creature won't hear you. <laughs> okay, so the scripted event already happened. So there was like a soldier standing here who was like, I'm going to get that thing. And he runs out onto the ledge and the creature taps it with its tentacles and the guy just explodes. However, there's an amazing glitch that can happen if in the source port where this guy runs out there and for whatever reason, he just becomes invincible. <laughs> so then the tentacles are just hitting him over and over again and it's not doing anything. It's just going through him. Oh, that's weird. And what's even better is that you know how you know how when you start up Half Life, it will have um, like uh, well, not I guess it, this is only the source port, but it, it will show you like uh, on the title screen the area you're currently at in the game. Yeah, it'll show that guy standing there getting not getting hurt while those things are tapping him on the title screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. That's pretty great. <laughs> Oh, damn. Can't make sounds, Zach. You can't make any sounds. Ooh. Uh, uh, Ooh, uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. There, well, maybe there's a way to distract them with sounds. Hmm. So, Zach, do you have grenades? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Huh. In fact, you have a lot of different stuff, uh, weapons you got uh, uh. going on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, now watch this. Uh huh. Huh. Actually, funny enough, there's actually a thing in uh, Half Life Alex where the thing you have to deal with also has a, in, involves a uh, noise in some way. I just not realized that. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if there's. A, I don't think there's any puzzle in t in Half Life Two that involves sound. But yeah, they, this is an interesting puzzle here. Oh, yep. Shoot that. They'll go attack that. Although now, yeah. <laughs> yep. Like, maybe you can make it. Oh, there you go. Okay. There you go. Okay, awesome. Now you're going to have to go to the lower level at some point, but not right now. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm getting immersed in the experience. <laughs> it's actually, this is actually more immersive than I was originally giving credit for. People were actually right. Damn it. <laughs> now, like I told you, there's a lot of variety put into the game set pieces. You're not always just shooting things. Zach's so immersive. He's crouching everywhere. <laughs> it's how I learned to play these. If you start running out into every corner you see, you're going to get shot to death. Sometimes you got to take things slow, he says as he runs right in the... Oh. Ah! Oh, see, God. you got to go slow. <laughs> I can't get off the ladder. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, the placement of those two is excellent. <laughs> uh. I hear something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> How did that happen? 
Oh. You lucky fuck, if you would have actually grabbed onto that ladder at that velocity, you would, your, your arms would have just been gone. Like, ripped off, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, I honestly cannot believe I survived that. I have no idea how. Like, once again, you made the sound of someone that it was actually falling. <laughs> from, like, a high height, like you were playing this in VR. I told you, Brandon, I don't like heights, and like I said, this game is very immersive. You're not giving this game enough credit, Brandon. Well, to be fair, I think there is a VR mode for this game, I think. Oh, yeah, there is. I'm pretty sure. I think there's one for Half-Life 2 as well. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, is there a VR game out there with PS1 style graphics? I wonder how that would look. That would honestly be probably freakier. PS1 graphics are scary. <laughs> I mean, I've played like some VR games that had like lower, uh, like lower um, poly graphics and stuff. And honestly, like I, I, for me at least, I, I could still be immersed in it and, and enjoy it. Okay, because I was I was curious I was curious about that because like the, one of the big problems with VR is games you know needing to have high resolution because when you're looking at a game that closely it looks you know it 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 compresses the image. Oh yeah, I mean of course like the game has to be running at like a pretty high resolution and like it has to be able, it has to be able to hit at least like 90 FPS because if it's not, obviously that's going to cause some issues like motion sickness and all that. So my thing is like okay so if it's like a ps1 or ps2 looking game that's already pretty low resolution like how is that gonna play when it's up against your face i would say honestly i think it's fine i'd say i care more about the frame rate than the resolution you know because if the frame rate starts going down like things start going bad <laughs> Yeah, if you've ever played VR and it lags, it's it's very disorienting. Oh yeah, it's pretty bad. Or like when the game freezes. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, yeah. They're yep, yep. I remember watching a clip of these guys playing a VR game, and it was like some sort of like car racing game that they were playing in VR. And then when that frame rate started to stutter, you saw like the guy like visibly like almost fall over. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> Makes you sick. That's why you really need, like, a powerful system to play VR games, because if you do not have the <gasps> power, you are going to get sick. <laughs> yeah. All right, Zach, now go back up. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, time to meet fate. Oh, that's not how I expected to die. Oh. I assume I have to run after hitting the butt! <laughs> Button. Okay, I'll go up fast. Okay, thank God. That's a, that's a weird puzzle, because, like, yeah, if you don't go up immediately, you're just fucked. Oh, can you not turn it off? No. Oh. No. Sir, sir, please move. No, no, nothing's over here.
Yeah, I would throw. Uh, yeah, I would throw another grenade to get them off your tail. Oh, yeah. yeah. N okay, now go. Okay. Ooh. Yep, you just made it. Yeah, I hate this jump. There we go. God ah. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sack just w looks up and walks off a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> yep. There we go. I knew you were going to do that. What the fuck? Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> do what? I didn't know Zach had teleportation powers. No, it's just, uh, I'm just editing in real time. <laughs> there you go, just disturbing his private meal. He wasn't doing anything to you, he just had a scientist, and he was just taking a munch. Yeah, but he's probably one who killed the scientist, you know? Yeah, I suppose that's true. Any manner of things could kill people here. <laughs> Not just the aliens. Even the scientists themselves. Yeah. I mean, we've seen some of them dumb enough just to walk into one of the barnacles. Yep. Or just, like, walk right into the fucking, um, wall mine shit. <laughs> What will Zach do? <laughs> There's actually a ladder on that wall. Oh. Now, and, and, and the thing, and the thing is, you know, it's really great, Zach, that you did that though. In Freeman's mm -hmm. mind, that's how he gets down. He, he jumps on that wire and climbs down. I wonder if that's what I thought of. Yeah, because that makes sense, but no, in the actual game, you cannot do that. Yeah, because I think he's using a parkour mod for that. Not, I, it's parkour, but it's also like a combination of, like, no clip. Oh. Yeah, okay. He just happens to animate it well, so it looks like he is, like, climbing or... Oh, yep, there it going is. Going down something. Yep, yep. Uh... Oh, that's a jump. Yeah, it sure is. But it's either that or end up in the radiation. There you go. <laughs> Excellent 1999 splash effects. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Valve! You and your ladders, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. 
stupid. <laughs> we gotta get a webcam on me, just for like every gasp. I was gonna say you're freaking out more here than in Resident Evil Seven. <laughs> this game is scary. This man is scary. Look at his lips. With my brains and your brawn, we'll make an excellent team. I hope no one expects me to stop. <laughs> I, I don't. I mean, the way his lips are moving, it's more like with my brain damage and your brawn, we can do this. <laughs> oh. It looks like he's got a Sylvester Stallone thing going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like the Sylvester Stallone lip. You're right. Oh, there's a ladder over there. I'm stupid. <laughs> I thought you were just having fun with that thing. Yeah, it always feels like bull squids kind of just know where you are, and then you're just like, what the fuck? Like, wh wh where are you? Oh. Oh, God. It. I think there's also a button on the bottom, but I'm not sure. Or maybe there's a button on the other side is what I'm thinking of. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> yeah, Zach missed the exposition back there, and, uh... The exposition we already heard, by the way. I'll have you know. I was gonna say, does this game have subtitles? Because oh. I feel like we're missing something here. No. Hmm. Oh, there's that motherfucker. You think they would have added that to Half-Life? Yeah. If it didn't have it, because Half-Life 2 has that. May 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 maybe Half-Life Source has subtitles, but not the original. Either way, come on, that's like a little thing you can add in there. Yeah, screw you, Valve. <laughs> <laughs> I should not be on here. This is my hiding spot. I'm in a mood and the police situation is constantly improved. Now go away and don't tell anyone I'm here. Uh, don't worry, man. I won't tell you about your great hiding spot. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I was waiting for that to happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Go into the light, Zach. Go into <laughs> the light. Oh. I thought something would have, like, happened. Now, for some reason, you're fine. I don't get it. Yeah, that is weird. I mean, I don't know how you're getting down without taking damage. Yeah, there's, like, really no other way. I thought I would have had to get on here. Am I missing something? Ow. Sorry, did she say spinal fracture? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can get all kinds of fractures in this game, apparently. But they don't affect your walking, for whatever reason. 
ensure someone has restored all power. They'll have the engine up again in no time. Okay, so you got the power, and then you turned on that phantom. Oh. <laughs> and he's dead. What? There is no murder here. Hmm. You know, if you tried to play Sneak Eater while uh, Gordon was on the ladder, you'd have to play it at twice the speed. I'm living in a dream, Sneak Eater! <laughs> uh. Yeah, just add that in. No. <laughs> Nightcore Snake Eater. Just play at, <laughs> like, four times speed. Yep, you got the fan running. <laughs> yep. Yep. To be fair, you wouldn't usually look there. But yes, you have to ride the fan up. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I think I had to look up what to do at this point, because I remember just being completely confused. I I just suddenly remembered it from the Freeman's Mind episode. Ah! I was even thinking too. Is like, is there like a moment like where you have to like use the fan to like get lifted up to something? I was like, oh okay. Yep. Spooky red lighting. I guess you could say we're in the red shift. I don't get it. Oh. Or maybe I just refuse not to get it. <laughs> That's what I assumed. Uh, trust me, Brandon. If you, if you, even if you got it, it's really stupid. Don't ignore me, honey. You know you want this. What? <laughs> Is that your Gordon Freeman quips? Yes. Because that sounds bad. <laughs> Is it just me, or have I uh, not picked up ammo in a while? No, I kind of just been giving you grenades. But now you got your fuel and your oxygen on. So, is this? Yep, there. Yep, that was outside the fuel door, I believe. So we should be good to go to get out of here, finally. Time to skedaddle. All right, finally. Come get some, baby. Come at me, bro. I like how I say that, and then the fire hits me. Yep. I can't ever just get cocky. <laughs> no, Zach. No. Not in Half-Life. Do you know where to go next? Oh my god, he died! No, my friend! He died! No. Uh -oh. But you know what? I did get more pistol ammo out of it, so good for me. <laughs> ammo is worth much more than him. <laughs> well, I mean, what's he gonna do with it? Just stand there? He's not out saving the world, I am. I mean, basically, yeah. Uh, get killed off by the military. Yeah, exactly. Or aliens. Well, I wanted to use the ladder, but the game said no. And now we're traveling deep into the bowels of whatever the hell that alien thing was from. 
Also, Zach, it's uh, perfect because we actually just hit hit we actually just hit one hour. Ah, uh, yeah, this is actually a good stuff. I thought the game froze for a second because I was moving my mouse and nothing looked like it was happening, but uh, now nah, it was just really dark. But yeah, this is actually a good stopping point. We won't reach feature length this time. <laughs> yep, just yeah, yeah. This is a good uh, TV movie episode. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Honestly, it's a good thing you said something, Brandon. Otherwise, I was just going to keep going. Like, I noticed the time, but I was like, I wonder how much longer I could push this, but I, I shouldn't be. Yep. Should be stopping. Show restraint, kiddos. Don't make four-hour videos of you playing Half-Life. <laughs> no, uh, choose another game like Minecraft or Among Us. Nobody wants to see your five-hour X is garbage and here's Y video. <laughs> oh, shit. I have no idea how to end videos. 